I now want to bring back Brian Kasky, um, and we're going to talk about what's next uh, as we wrap this up. Um, and as we get started, and while I'm waiting for Brian, uh, who I think will be here momentarily, uh, the first thing we want to do is thank everyone who has contributed to this effort. Every, all of our Colorado-based supporters, uh, Next 50 Initiative, and the national subject matter experts. Uh, through the power of collaboration, a, a topic that's come up numerous times this morning, um, we uh, we could not have accomplished what we have without you, and we could not be more excited about the momentum that's underway in Colorado uh, as a state, as a society, as an inclusive workforce, and for the future of its economy. Truly extraordinary. Um, so I just want to thank everyone and, of course, Next 50 Initiative for making this happen. Uh, we have a long honor roll, um, so I uh, just want to give a shout out to these organizations that you, you see on our screen. I won't read them all, but you, I'll let you read them. And also want to add, and many, many more. We truly appreciate it, and uh, we hope that you'll join us on the next leg of our journey. So, Brian. Let's talk about what comes next. This really has been exciting. Um, it's, you know, work can be fun and it's been fun to discover uh, for us what you actually can do, right? Because for so many years we've heard, oh, there's gonna be this aging labor force and a lot of attention has been put on what we call the individual unit. You know, what can individuals do to retain their skills? What can they do to present themselves better? And we've really changed now to look at these institutions called employers. And we really are excited to learn what they're doing because a lot of folks are kind of already doing stuff in this area. They just haven't really thought about it being age friendly. So what we want to do is continue to support this, if you will, uh, transformation of, of the workplace. And we plan to do this in, in, in three steps. And one is, is we want to, like I said earlier, identify a group of folks, hopefully those of you on the call here, or call the Zoom uh, conference, whatever we call this, um, to be in our first generation of, of employers who really want to jump in and use the website and apply what you see uh, to be the most viable actions to move forward. And once we kind of work through, as, as again, we said earlier, your experiences with this, we can simultaneously improve the website. We can integrate examples from Colorado that you all hopefully are willing to share with us. And then we want to disseminate it more broadly. In other words, they'll be ready for the masses after that. But we really do want people like you to help us kind of finish this website off. There's always something that we can tweak a little bit or make a little easier to use. And that's where we are right now. We're so excited that you're able to join us today. And we look forward to hearing from you. And the last thing I want to say is I want everybody as possible to use your, your clap function on, on your Zoom. And give a round of applause to Stevlin Sanye. Steve's been with us uh, on this project, uh, ooh, boy, from almost the very get-go. And he's provided us excellent support. Um, but <clears throat> like all good students, they eventually graduate and then they move on and start their own professional journey. So we are now saying goodbye to Steve today because tomorrow he begins a new career. And hopefully as he moves forward in his new career, he's going to be that guy in the meeting that says, yeah, but what about experienced employees? So thanks again to Steve for all your support over these few years, and especially today. I thought today's conference ran very smoothly. Oh, okay. well, and, and thank you, Brian. Um, and thank you, Steve, and a couple of other our team members to give a shout out to Patty Rowey and Heidi Cho. Um, and again, we thank all of you, all of you who joined us today, our speakers, uh, and all of our project supporters, uh, who and volunteers who have shared their time and expertise. Um, as a follow-up, what comes next? You can see, uh, please, uh, if you wanna connect with us, we're building an email list. Uh, you can see the email address there, ageinclusivemanagement at Gmail. 
We also have a QR code that very boldly says, scan me, uh, that will take you uh, to, to sign up. Um, also, uh, transamericainstitute.org. Uh, we have uh, a whole section of our website built out to this initiative. You can learn about uh, the research that we've done in the past um, and uh, our February conference. And then today's event, uh, we will be posting uh, hopefully within the next few days. Uh, we will also be using that as a base to communicate future project related activities um, as we look to further promote our work in Colorado. So with that, Brian, anything else you want us to wrap up with? No, again, thank you all for, for wading through a, a Zoom meeting. We, we talked about something called Zoom exhaustion. And so I think we're all pretty much at that point. And we look forward to, to all our Colorado-based partners. We look forward to seeing you in the, in the year ahead. Well, thanks, Brian. And thanks, everyone, for joining us. It's a wrap.